let's go dip our toes in the Cosmic Lagoon. Tonight I'll be going after one of the biggest and brightest nebulae in the night sky. The lagoon and its cosmic companion, the Trifid Nebula, reign supreme in the Milky Way core. At this time of year, from the Northern Hemisphere, these targets have all but set for the year, but here in the Southern Hemisphere, we're lucky enough to still have them for another month or so. They actually start the night quite high in the sky, and I can get a couple of hours uh, imaging on them before they dip into that dreaded western horizon into the uh, light-polluted zone. Despite being about 4,000 light years away, the Lagoon Nebula is one of the biggest celestial objects that we can see from Earth. Given that it spans 110 light years, it, is actu it actually appears about four times larger than a full moon. From my Bortle 5 front yard, I can't quite make out uh, the shape with my naked eye, but if I drive just 10 minutes down the road to a Bortle 4 zone, I can actually make out the, lo the Lagoon Nebula with the naked eye pretty clearly. This nebula gives a bright red glow due to all the hydrogen atoms floating around in the area, being excited by lots of star formation. The Trifid Nebula right next to it is actually, I think, a far more interesting nebula. It is the trifecta of an emission nebula, a reflection nebula, and a dark nebula. So we're gonna get really stark contrast between the deep red of the emissions, deep blue of the reflections, and then these big inky black streaks that run right through the nebula that just block out all light completely. Even though it may seem a lot smaller, that Trifid Nebula actually appears about the same size as a full moon. Tonight I'll be using a mixture of equipment that I've used in the past, and also something new. Well, new to me. I was lucky enough to recently acquire a used Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro, which is a mount I've been wanting for a really long time. I have used it a little bit already, but I haven't got a photo with it. So this won't technically be its first light, but it will probably be the first image that it produces. Riding on top of the mount, I'll be using my trusty Skywatcher EvoStar 72 ED uh, that I've used for, for about 18 months now and just absolutely love. Uh, I'll also be using a Starfield 0.8 times focal reducer and field flattener, uh, not the expensive Skywatcher one that is recommended. And I'll also be using the Canon EOS 80D, uh, just totally stock, unmodified, just like one you'd buy in a shop or online. I'll also be using a fairly cheap light pollution filter. It is the SV Boney CLS or City Light Suppression uh, filter. Uh, for the paltry $30 it cost me, it's been <laughs> worth every cent. Uh, just helps cut through some of that light pollution and, and just... You can think of it more as a nebula booster filter because it just, like I said, blocks out some of those unnecessary wavelengths and lets in more of that hydrogen and oxygen and all those good things that we want to see. I haven't ventured into the world of auto-guiding or computer-assisted imaging at all as I'm still pretty new to the HEQ5. So for tonight, I'm going super lightweight and simple. It's going to be unguided, unmodified, manual polar alignment, uh, and the only cables we're going to see are the intervalometer and just a dew heater. So really simple and lightweight, very portable. exciting than the new mount is the new house. Uh, my partner and I were lucky enough to buy our own place with a yard. Unfortunately uh, it's a front yard, we don't have much of a backyard, it's totally blocked out by trees. Uh, but I'll take a front yard, it means a lot of setup and take down each night, um, but it's a huge improvement from having to travel somewhere to take my images as I have been doing up until now. As I mentioned it's a Bortle 5 backyard so uh, it's kind of moderate light pollution, really not too bad. It's right on the northern outskirts of Sydney, Australia. The real winners of the new house though are Suki and Momo. They have, <laughs> they've been loving the front yard, uh, they've never had one before that they can just run around in and uh, it's definitely their favourite place to be.
If you're thinking of buying any of the gear I've used in tonight's video, I'll have some links in the description below. If you'd like to use them, it does help me out. So totally up to you if you'd like to do that, but it does help support the channel. I hope you enjoy my final image of the Lagoon and Triffid Nebulae. If you learned something or enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay tuned for more videos like this. And there will be plenty more. Until then, I'm Max saying life's short, look up.